Hey yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Sunny Red, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I do a lot of pick and fades, which is like pick and popper for three point shooters that's on my squads. Being that I'm a point guard, you know I'm a playmaker. This is what's gonna allow me to get mad my points at the end of the game, contributing to your pick and roll maestro, your dribble drive success, a couple of badges that you know you need as a playmaker. Also, keep in mind when you're doing these pick and pops or pick and fades, remember to do flashy passes with them. Sometimes I don't do them, but you know, I'm getting into the habit of doing flashy passes with them so you can get more, you know, um, XP. Also, you need to do make sure you do uh, a crossover, you know what I'm saying? Do a double move that's going to help you also with your ankle breaker and stuff like that. So, you know, the more my points, the better. So, other than that, we about to get into this video. Everybody that has subscribed, I appreciate the subscribes. I appreciate the likes. For those who haven't subscribed, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Leave me comments and let me know what kind of videos and what type of content you guys want to continue to see. And uh, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing I do is I hit L1 to bring up the icon, then I hold on to the icon of the person I want to set the screen, then R1 to make them fade. In this case, it's Cat. So, Cat is a great three-point shooter, so I make him pick and fade a lot. So, um, now we about to go ahead and get Porzingis in the mix. Same thing, make him fade, he wide open, bang, he knocking it down. So you're going to want to do this all game long if you want to work on your pick and roll maestro badge and your dimer badge and your ankle breaker badge. Wow, this dude cat is injured again. When I first got traded here, the dude was injured. Now this is the second game of the second season. He injured again with a collapsed lung. But that's why I bought Porzingis and KD to the squad because it's got a lot of length and a lot of three point shooting. And now it's KD turn. Even though it wasn't a three, step inside, it don't matter. And being that I'm a um, playmaking sharp, we out here. <laughs> so that's good D right there. On a fast break, I see my boy on the wing. Give it to Porzingis. Just let him rip. I'm not even trying to set up a play right there. Just get the ball into your playmaker, man. And just let him handle, handle the business. You know, do what they got to do. So, uh, you know, Steph, he gonna hit you with a quick release every time he get the chance. So, that was just bad to you on my part. But, um, yeah, man, that's what you want to do all game long. Set them screens, do the phase, get K KD is hot. Well, I'm not going to use him. See, he's so hot. They stayed on him. I just went ahead and hit him with a little acrobatic layup. So, uh, they paying attention right now. They starting to pay attention to who's getting the rock the most. Now they follow me, you just dump it off to KD, let them bang. <laughs> so it's just that simple, man. This is how you work on a couple of badges at one time. I think right here, I actually ran a play. I seen him on the down screen, boom, knocks it down. A Koji, I don't even know who that is. Some dude that's on the bench on my squad. Jimmy Butler left. I was hoping Jimmy Butler stayed so he could play the two. And he's a great two-way player. He got good defense, but he bounced. So now they got uh, some dude named Okoji, and um, Wiggins comes off the bench also. But yeah, right there you see I lost the ball, but I had 10 seconds left. Even if you set the play up and it don't go right, you got mad time on the shot clock. You're just doing pick and rolls, you know what I'm saying? So, damn Steph, take it easy brother. I lost a bet to AD, so he made me have a unibrow. <laughs> So before the half, if you don't want to do the pick and fade, you want to keep it yourself, let them set the screen, bang. That's it, man. So you always going to have options. You can either do pick and fades or if you're a three-point shooter. And really, I probably need to be doing a lot of three-point shooting mad consistently, but um, I need to do them from limitless range. Because you do it from limitless range, you get way more of my points also. But the thing is, my incentives, I got to at least get 12 as they leave me wide open again, hit them with a little Euro step acrobat. You get mad points for Euros and acrobats and stuff like that. And floaters. So like I said, read that defense. If they leave you open, just go ahead and hit them. If they collapse like right there, dish it out to your playmaker. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, I got incentives that I got at least hit 12 assists a game. So really, I just be trying to get my assists out the way. 
And once I hit 12, then that's when I start scoring. You know, I start doing my thing from limited screen, just a little slide over, see the screen, pop. That's it. Do, do what Steph be doing to you. You know what I'm saying? Steph don't need a whole lot of room. <laughs> so, I just be doing the same thing. If I set a screen, I just try to move around the screen sometime and just, and just hit that three myself. Knock it down myself. Because what I notice is if the defender is behind you on, on this game, you open. If he just standing next to you, you open. It's always going to say wide open. So you might as well just go ahead and shoot the shot if you got a good on, uh, if you're a three point shooter, a sharp shooter. But you know, shot creators, they can shoot threes too. So you just got to take advantage of those situations, man. Just read the defense, um, know what you're trying to do. Boom, look at this right here. You're not supposed to do what I'm about to do, which is dunk. But, um, hey, I've been flaming up a lot <laughs> when it comes to my floaters this year and my layups, man. So I just went ahead and just got the easy two, even though I didn't need it. But in that situation, man, fast break, don't do what I just did. Go ahead, do your floaters, and do your, um, you know, your acrobatic layups. So... That's it, man. That's it for the video. Hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Like the video. Comment on the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I thank you guys for your support. The love y'all been showing. And um, what you want to do is pay attention to how much points I got on my pick and roll, maestro, and my dribble drive success. So... Once you see how much I got, that's what's going to show you, like, yo, you need to be doing this a lot. It's going to help you wrap up fast. It's going to help you get your badges way quicker. So, you know, I only got three um, takeover meters. I got. I need to do more alley-oops, too. Look at the assist. 21, you got 3,200. You know what I'm saying? So, perimeter shots, I need to do more. I dodged 10, 2,300. Uh, they gave me a 1,000 for posterizer. Wow. Three. Acrobatic layups got 1100. Look at the pick and roll success 23 5500. You see what I'm saying? Dribble drive success 18 40 46. So that's a lot of wrapping up, man. But hey, man, I'm glad y'all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, like I said. And um, yeah, man, we out. Sunny Red, holla at your boy. Later.